Hello, and welcome to the fourth video of our YouTube Business Intelligence web series. My name is Kevin El Hajj, and I am a senior BI consultant with Bimozo GmbH. In this web series, we will be covering new features added to the tools comprising SAP Business Objects 4.2. The version covered in these videos is 4.2 Service Pack 6. In today's video, we will be having a quick look at enhancements done to Lumera Designer version 2.2 Service Pack 0. Now, two notes to mention before we begin. The videos in this web series can be viewed in any order. The sequence is arbitrary. Secondly, these videos are quick walkthroughs of new features and are tailored to users with experience in the tools covered. For more in-depth and hands-on trainings, please visit our website at www.bmozo.com for a full listing of our products or contact our team at info at bimozo.com for inquiries. So Lumera Designer as of version 2.2 has added quite a few interesting features, starting with the offering feature. Now it's within your application you create a technical component called authoring. And what this allows you to do is when you run your dashboard, end users can now play around as in drag and drop, copy and paste, resize certain components that are allowed by the authoring. So here, you can pick the areas with which you want authoring to be enabled. Now, by default, it only allows um, composites to be edited, to be authored, but you can also allow other components such as charts and panels uh, and so on to be authored via script. Now, the second component is the document feature. Now, what this allows you to do is when you have, for example, offline data sources, it allows you through some scripting to refresh the offline data source so that you have a new version of it. And it also allows you to save documents or rather Lumira designer documents at runtime. So that means it works well with authoring. So with authoring, for example, you would change a certain component in your dashboard and you can then save this new version of your dashboard. The third component is the grouped list. Now, this is another word for what was called an accordion list. And what this allows you is to um, set certain values to be within tab uh, dropped boxes of sorts. So this allows you, for example, in this case, to set cities that are part of one US state. So within Texas, you have Austin, Dallas, and when you click on the arrow, it expands to show the cities within Texas and the same with California. And when you click again, these disappear, like an accordion would work. And it also works in conjunction with the authoring tool. So when you enable this option here, it allows at runtime for you to drag and drop this component anywhere you want within the dashboard. Finally, one new feature is to allow a dynamic chart reference line. Now this is at runtime. 
So I'm quickly going to run this. And all you have to do is right click on the chart component, click on reference lines, and here as you see you have a dynamic choice. You click on dynamic, and if you have multiple measures you need to pick one, but in this case we only have one. The aggregation is set by default to average. You can edit the label, you can show the label, and you can format the reference line itself. So for example, let's put it to red. Press OK. And now what this brings is basically the average of the sales revenue by year per city. That's it for SAP Business Objects 4.2 SP6 Lumera Designer 2.2. Starting from our next web series, we'll be covering enhancements made to the new version of SAP Business Objects, which is 4.2 Service Pack 7. See you then!